Um, Saturday haul in for you guys today and I'm going to start off with the order that I placed off of the Flower Nose website for the pieces from the latest Little Angel collection that I didn't get in PR which is something that I typically do. I was always an original purchaser of Flower Nose for quite a while. I think I've got pieces from their very first collection um, which was a unicorn collection and the blushes in that. Ugh. Anyway <laughs> I love the brand Flower Nose and they always switch up the packaging even though they have a range of like highlighters or blushes or something like that. They always have like a different color scheme on each one and their packaging is just so pretty. Their formulas are also really amazing. Um, the Circus Powder I hope I hope I hope they relaunch that at some point in a collection like they relaunched the Little Angel highlighters in this collection collection because this is actually the second Little Angel collection Flower Nose done. I think the first one was the second collection the brand ever did which are some of my absolute favorite highlighters in my collection. So I am hoping that they come back out with that surface powder. It is bar none the best under eye setting powder I've ever used. It's also a really undetectable face powder but I kind of savor the powder for underneath my eyes. It's super super beautiful undetectable. You guys have heard me talk about it for a really long time. <laughs> so um, the stuff that I ordered came in the Little Angel um, box right here and the order took around like three weeks to get here and Flower Nose often runs really good promotions on their website and also has like a lot of free gifts depending on how many items that you purchase so I believe I got these products on sale it was like 10% off or something like that and then I got a bunch of freebies because I bought like quite a few items right so I'll just show those to you guys really quick this is like a really soft like faux leather makeup bag that was a freebie in there. Another freebie was one of their Little Angel Collection hand mirrors. The one that they sent me was the black version, so this one's the white one. I definitely don't mind having two versions of these, and this is what the box packaging looks like. I also got one of the blush brushes for free as well, and this is the white um, version of the blush brush. Let me show you this packaging. That's the box. And then here is the blush brush and then I'll hold it next to the one that I got it sent in PR which is the black version. And these are really soft, really wispy. These are actually really good for super pigmented blush. But the attention to detail, just really pretty. There were also a ton of little um, puffs oh, inside of there as well. And then I also got a free um, little hair clip in there. And lastly for a freebie were um, two sheets of stickers from the Little Angel collection which I love stickers. Who doesn't love stickers? And then for the products that I purchased I got a backup of Moon River which I have in the original collection as well. I've got backups and I've also hit substantial pan on my original Little Angel Moon River highlighter. Um, but this is the new packaging with Moon River and this is the highlighter that I've got on my cheeks today. It's one of my favorite. In this collection, uh, if you hear machinery, my brother is out moving snow. <laughs> so sorry about that. He's in the Bobcat. Moon River is the most sparkly out of the highlighters that launched in this recent Little Angel collection. It's just the most beautiful like blue pinky um, I don't know, iridescently purple highlighter. I just love it. I, like I said, I've got backups of it from the first launch and then I've hit pan on the one that I've been using in my collection in the um, older packaging that's white like this. So I just want to swatch all of the shades together so you guys can see them. This was embossed very beautifully as well but I've used this one quite a bit. So I did get a backup of this um, as well. And the packaging, again, is just absolutely beautiful. It's weighted nice. It feels very luxe in the hands. Even though it's like a plastic, it doesn't feel cheap by any means. And for me, the quality of the formulations and the packaging, um, they're so affordable for what you're getting. I think I've said it before, but if this was like a luxury, uh, like a designer brand or something like this, and they came out with something that looked like this, they'd be charging like, I don't know, $150 or something, you know? <laughs> So anyway, this is Moon River. Again, this is the highlighter that I have got on today. And then I did buy Paradise Lost, which is another re-promote from the original Little Angel collection. And I'll swatch the one um, that I have kind of in use in my collection. This is actually a little bit too deep for me, but it's still really, really pretty. Sometimes I like to pull it out in the summertime. Um, but I bought um, it in the new Little Angel collection because the packaging, like I said, they switch up the packaging so this one comes with like the pink blue background 
And since I haven't used this, you should be able to see the embossing really well too. So intricate. If I haven't mentioned, these are like a um, more moisturized kind of baked jelly highlighter. Like they stick to dry skin a lot better than a lot of other baked jelly highlighters, which again, I absolutely love and they're so, so shiny. Um, again, Moon River is the most sparkly. These next three that I'm gonna show you have a much like, like a smoother shine to them. Okay, now that I've got these side by side, um, these are not exactly the same. The Moon River shade from the first collection and the new one are pretty spot on. This one here, this older Paradise Lost, it's a little bit more bronzy, like a rose goldish or something in comparison to this Paradise Lost. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna swatch it. Um, where should, okay. Just do it, Tara. <laughs> it's so hard, right, to like swatch these. I might actually, this is gonna be a really pretty one. Well, it does have a little bit of an undercast on me. So definitely something in the summertime. Should I swatch it next to the older Paradise Lost as well, since they don't appear to be the same. So here's the older one. We'll put the older one right here so I can see. Well, I mean, swatched out on the hand, they're very, very similar. When you look at them in the pan, they don't look to be exact. And now I'm kicking myself for swatching that. Other Paradise Lost. <laughs> and then I got two each of the number one, which I believe is Eros's Fable. And I got two of the 03 Chanting Anthem. I just knew that I was going to absolutely love these. So I just went ahead and bought two of each. So these are the unopened ones. And then here are the packaging for these ones. Let me grab. I know I'm not going to be able to hold all of these up at the same time. I'll drop them. But you can kind of see right there the different colors in the packaging. And these are beautiful. These are both... Um, light enough for me. They're very, very smooth, but really shiny and finely milled. They don't have the like flaky sparkles in them. So this one here is Chanting Anthem number three. It's like a white champagne. And I've worn this quite a few times as well. They're just super, super soft too for like a big jelly and with that intricate embossing in there. So that guy there is Chanting Anthem. And then we've got Eros's Fable. I hope I'm saying that right. And this one is a pinky toned shade, which I'm gonna swatch next to a limited edition one. Well, it was limited edition from the Little Angel. It wasn't as readily available as the other ones from the initial launch. And it's in the shade uh, Cupid with the pink packaging. But just so that you can see them uh, next to each other there, because I think that they're pretty close. Um, if anything, Cupid, Cupid's probably a little bit more sparkly or a little bit more shiny, as you can see. <laughs> I've loved this one as well. I've actually got backups of this too. So we can see the difference. Yeah, so they are pretty similar. Again, those are the highlighters. And then I also got the other three cream blushes um, that were available as well. So I'll start off with the Rose Ashes. And this, it's going to be too light on me for kind of how I like to wear like my blush. So this is the one that I'm going to keep unswatched <laughs> to keep the embossing because I've used all of the other four cream blushes. Um, but I will show it to you guys right here. There was another lighter one, which had I known it would have went on that light, I might have saved that one. But this is the packaging on this guy right here, again, in number four, Rose Ashes. Like, have you ever seen, again, such an intricate embossing in such a creamy cream product? It's just really pretty. And then we've got the shade Paradise Poet, which has got the baby blue packaging. Again, this is Paradise Poet. This one's pretty light. It's kind of like a warm pink color. So that one's Paradise Poet. And then my favorite one out of all of the shades of the cream blushes is the Floral Praise, probably because it's the most punchy. 
And these have a really creamy texture. I thought for sure I wouldn't be able to use them like over set foundation, but with the pouncing motion after I kind of diffuse it on the back of my hand, like, and it lasts all day. Like I, this color looks so pretty on my cheeks all day, but they do have almost like the consistency of a, a cream lipstick. So that's my favorite one out of them. That's Floral Praise right there. And then again, here's the packaging. It's got the pink on the front. And then for comparison, I'll swatch the two that Flower Nose sent me. So we've got Fingertip Stellar. This was the really light one that um, I probably would have kind of preserved the embossing had I known how light it was going to go on. I mean, it showed up, but it's just a very, very natural color and I'm just into like punchy cheeks, <laughs> you know? So that one there again is Fingertip Stellar. That's the packaging on that guy. And then the fifth one of the cream blushes is number one, Flaming Heart. This is also really pretty. It's like a natural shade, but it's got pretty good pigmentation to it. Or depth to it, I should say. So that one there is Flaming Heart. And those are the products there that I got from Flower Nose. I also bought the new ColourPop palette in Golden Hour. They had this in store inside of Ulta. So this is the one that's got the bigger pans and it is a 16 shade palette. Um, a total of 0.67 ounces of product in here. So that's the box packaging. And this guy here doesn't have a mirror in it. Just looks like that, which is fine by me because I don't really use the mirrors and palettes anyways. And these are also magnetized, so that's good. And there's one pressed glitter in here, which is Golden Waves, which is this guy right here. And as I mentioned before, I think that ColourPop has really perfected the pressed glitters that are in palettes. They're actually really functional and pretty. But this is just a really yellow based neutral palette. I really like to wear shades like this with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Butterscotch lipstick and then also like that Menagerie Sunflower, I think it was called Sunflower Blush. And like I have this real monotone yellow look. I just there's something about it. <laughs> and then these next ones. And then this row, this one's really pretty. It's got like a, a bit of a green kind of sparkle shift in it. Gosh, you can really hear it from Bobcat. <laughs> it must be my dad in the Bobcat and my brother's in the loader. So that's like a much larger piece of equipment. <laughs> but we got, I think we got like four inches of snow the other day. So it's moving snow. So there are the swatches right there of the ColourPop Golden Hour eyeshadow palette. And believe it or not, that's all that I got in that I purchased. I did buy the new Adept Cosmetics palette that recently launched and it was supposed to be here yesterday but it's still in Bismarck probably because we got freezing rain before we got the snow so the roads are pretty bad. Um, but like. I just have been so busy. So here's the thing, um, where I live, a big indoor barn arena was built in the community and I kind of manage it. Um, and I've got four horses up there. So when I get off my one job, then I, I come home, I switch my clothes, grab a bite to eat and like head back up to the barn cause got a clean feed. And then I also ride all four head as well. Four head, one head is one horse. <laughs> Um, so I'm just like, and I feel like I'm almost forgetting to kind of search for the new products on Sephora and Ulta and stuff like that. When I make it in the store, it's a lot easier because I can like see the products and just kind of shop or whatever. But even then when I go to town, I'm like in a hurry to get back home because it's a two hour drive <laughs> to get to 
Bismarck, which has got the Ulta and the Sephora, so it's a two-hour drive there and back, and I gotta try to make it back between four and five so that I can cover all four horses at the barn. <laughs> so usually, because I'm in North Dakota, usually I have to turn out my young horses that are like in training and stuff, and they have all winter off because you can't ride. Well, you can, but like what's riding in 50 below sometimes, you know? So anyway, um, it's kind of a new thing for me. I've never like had the ability to do what I'm doing now so I'm trying to juggle <laughs> hopefully I'm doing a good job but um anyway I do have some really lovely PR some PR from some of my favorite brands so let's go ahead and get into that stuff Fantasy Cosmetica is coming out with a new collection on February 16th and they are another one of my favorite indie brands their eyeshadows are absolutely beautiful um and they're launching an eyeshadow palette uh, highlighter palette, the single matte eyeshadows, single duo and multi-chrome shadows, and then there's a single holochrome shadow as well as a perfume. And it's called the Wizard Perfume. So I'll just show you guys the leaflet that came in there with the pricing. And I really love how Fantasy Cosmetica sends out their PR. Like there's a form to fill out and you can see the products and you can pick which ones you want to receive. So if there's like colors you probably won't wear or something like that. And I just really think that's nice and kind of customizable for the PR that you're getting. So I'll start off with the perfume. I went with the little tiny sampler. So again, it's called the Wizard. So this is what it came like. I'm, I'm not that good at describing scents like this. And I went with the little guy because the other perfumes that they launched were just a bit too like strong for me and they were kind of a kind of incense based is kind of how I get the best way for me to describe it and not that the smells weren't nice but I can get kind of funny with fragrance I can get lightheaded and stuff like that so I just got the little guy to kind of sample it out and this one here smells much different to me than the or the other launches of perfume that um, Fantasy Cosmetica has come out with so I'm like I should have got this in a bigger like spray bottle <laughs> but anyway it's a pretty perfume and it's probably because um, one of the the top notes is lemongrass and I love I absolutely love lemongrass so um, it says top is lemongrass citrus marine notes and then the heart is grass bamboo green leaves lavender and the base is dark musk cedar sage and moss so I think for me, the, the the note that really resonated, which makes me like the scent, even though it is, it's still quite strong, um, but that lemongrass, I love the smell of lemongrass. I've actually got um, doTERRA uh, lemongrass that I put in like the diffuser and it smells my whole house up like lemongrass and it's great. <laughs> so I just got the little guy. Again, this is the wizard perfume and there are the notes. And then they also launched a highlighter palette. So this guy here, um, it does not say, it doesn't say on the packaging here uh, how much product is in here or where it is made, but this is the sleeve. It mimics the actual packaging and there's the information on the back. And I have got the shade Whirlwind. So again, cardboard, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself here. Cardboard with a magnetic closure. So I've got this shade on my cheeks as a blush today and I've worn all three of these as blushes on my cheeks and they are all really, really pretty. Like initially when you look at that purple shade, you would think, you know, maybe not as a blush, but it's got a really pretty pink like shift in it that it actually works as a blush really well for me. So this one here is the most smooth out of them and these ones here got a lot of sparkle, but they're all really, really pretty. And very smooth they blend out really pretty and I did wear this top shade as a highlighter before but the um, undercast is that pink so it kind of undercast on the top of my cheekbones and I actually like it a little bit better as a blush on me but they're very very pretty I may I may I may pick up a backup of this <laughs> because it's really really pretty again this is the highlighter palette right there and then we have got the eyeshadow palette so this is the wizard and this is the sleeve with the information on the back so this one here has got nine shades that are point I believe it says it's supposed to be 0 0.05 ounces per shade it says 0.5 but they're the one and a half gram size pans and it says made in China on the back of here and it's got the bunny uh, for not tested on animals, but that's the sleeve that mimics the actual packaging, which is a cardboard with a magnetic closure. There is a mirror in here and 
Um, Fantasy Cosmetica now magnetizes their shadows as well, so I love that. Their first launches, um, they weren't magnetized. I think it was the first three palettes they did weren't magnetized, and then they started magnetizing them. And I think if you order now the older palettes, those also come magnetized now. You guys know how I feel about magnetized eyeshadow palettes. I love them. <laughs> so um, this is actually the eyeshadow palette I've got on my eyes today. And I just felt like doing shimmer in the crease and blending out with another sparkly shimmer color. <laughs> so I used Divination, this shade right here, and I blended it out with this gra gra oh, Graffiturgy <laughs> shade, which this is the hollow chrome in here. Um, Fantasy Cosmetica also came out with six single holochrome shades as well that are just super beautiful and they're very unique. I feel like today it's hard to do super unique shades, especially when it comes to eyeshadow, but those are just really beautiful, unique eyeshadows. So I've got just one matte on and that's the yellow and I've got it underneath the brow and I've worn every shade in here. The mattes are like silk. They're so, so soft and finely milled. They blend out really well. Great pigmentation. So pretty. That blue has got like a yellow duochrome to it. Stunning. And then these next ones. The loader is loud. <laughs> and then this last shade. This is easily a standalone for me as well. It's just super pretty. Like pairing the eyeshadows with the highlighters, because these are kind of pinky purple and these are blue. Well, there's some purple in there as well, but not a whole ton of pink. Um, I don't know, it's just almost like when I was using it, I felt like it gave me Aurora vibes or something like that, <laughs> but very, very pretty. So, um, again, that is the Wizard palette from Fantasy Cosmetica, and it is launching again on February 16th at 9 Pacific Standard Time. And a huge thank you to Fantasy Cosmetica for sending this guy over. And then I also got sent the two new fragrances from the House of Siage, um, the Tweety and the Bugs Bunny, which I was just beside myself that I was getting them in PR. You guys know I feel quite um, emotional with the brand <laughs> because I love their fragrances so much. And there are so many of their limited edition fragrances that like in my mind, I, I want a backup. Like I don't want to use up the bottle. I want to be able to know that if I continually spray that bottle that I have another one as a backup, you know what I mean? Which I have purchased several, several backups of their fragrances. And these two new ones are so good on top of how cute and how pretty the bottles are. So that's also in my mind now as well. Like backup, you need a backup of Tweety and Bugs Bunny. <laughs> There's a sweet aspect in both of them, but they're almost like a fresh, springy one. Bugs Bunny's a little bit more rich, I feel, um, compared to Tweety, but both of them um, are super easy to wear. They're both very, very beautiful fragrances. And again, as per usual, like two, three sp spritzes max is all that you really need, and I can smell them all day long. Like it's one of those things, again, and I've said this before, um, with many fragrances, like I get these whiffs of these fragrances throughout the day and they just, they just lift my spirit, <laughs> which again, it sounds quite, you know, dramatic, but I, that's how I feel. <laughs> so anyway, we'll start off with the notes from Tweety and I'm reading it off of the card that came in the box. So the top notes are bergamot, apple, and lemon. The heart notes are lily, peony, rose, jasmine, and peach. And the base notes are musky and woody notes. Here is the box packaging right here. <laughs> it is so cute, right? And then you open it up, we've got Tweety, and then there's your bottle. Like, talk about a presentation of a product, right? And then you also have your card, your authenticity card in there. And the bottles are French blown glass, and then you've got the Swarovski crystals, and then you got your little Tweety on top. It is so pretty. Like, 
just setting this out and how shiny and again beautiful it is <laughs> you just like to look at it the crystals on the outside kind of match the color theming and then it also says uh, Tweety right there I'm actually wearing Bugs Bunny today I got Tweety first so I wore Tweety every day until I got Bugs Bunny and then I started wearing um, the Bugs Bunny but the underside of the cap also says Looney Tunes with Tweety on it and then here's your bottle Oh, it just, they smell so good. There's always a, such a unique, pretty, beautiful aspect about the House of Siage fragrances. And again, two, three spritzes is, is all you need of any of them. Some of them, I only use one spritz and I can still smell it all day. Anyway, here's Tweety. Look how beautiful. It is just beautiful, you guys. I'm probably, no joke, I'm probably going to get backups of these. Um, I would definitely sign up for their emails if you're interested in some of their fragrances because they will send out emails when they do sales and they do run really good sales quite often as well. Let's look at it again. <laughs> I'm going to read the little write-up on the card as well because it's pretty cute. It says, embark on a journey into the enchanting world of Looney Tunes with the beloved character Tweety. Dive into a world where innocence meets clever wit as Tweety's gentle and loving nature takes center stage. Join the adventure and experience the delightful and endearing escapades that make Tweety a timeless favorite in the heartwarming bunch of Looney Tunes. Next up, we've got Bugs Bunny, so let me read the notes on this one. Top notes are pink raspberry, bergamot, and I've never heard of this note before. Shinus mole, or Shinus mole. Very, I've never heard of that before. <laughs> the heart notes are jasmine, rose, and whipped vanilla. The base notes are golden amber, patchouli, olibanum, and sheer musk. And then let me read the description on this one. It says, join the adventure where quick wit and playful antics unfold, bringing joy and laughter to every corner of this animated realm. Immerse yourself in the delightful charm of Bugs Bunny, embodying this beloved character and infusing your days with the timeless joy that has defined Looney Tunes for generations. And that's the card right there of Bugs Bunny. Again, this is what I have on today. I've been doing two spritzes of Bugs Bunny when I use Bugs Bunny and then three of Tweety. And that's it. And again, I can smell them all day. I can't kind of emphasize that enough because, again, I want to be able to smell my fragrance all day long. <laughs> so here is the box <laughs> that Bugs Bunny comes in. Very cute as well. And then the top opens up. And then here is your perfume. And then you also have the authenticity card in there as well. And then here is your Bugs Bunny bottle. Again, so pretty. Let me tell you exactly the beautiful material that's on that bottle there. So the Tweety one is adorned with the delicacy of mother of pearl and the luxurious allure of abalone shell, which is what, yeah, that's what I thought they were. It looks, looks, it's got this opal type of finish and abalone and mother of pearl, you find a lot in kind of Native American jewelry um, and turquoise. They like to incorporate in turquoise a lot and stuff like that. I've actually got some myself. It's just a very, very beautiful material. French glass features a charming yellow ombre effect, enhancing its allure along with glistening Swarovski crystals. And then um, Bugs Bunny also has mother of pearl and abalone shell effects. So again, you can see the abalone shell and the mother of pearl in there. It also says the house of Siage and then Bugs Bunny on there. And then the bottom is also embossed on there as well. And ugh, it smells so good. It smells so good. So, so good. Both of them smell so, so good. Again, Bugs Bunny is a little bit more rich in comparison to Tweety, but they're both, for me at least, they're both really easy to wear fragrances. And here they are together. Don't you guys think we need a Sylvester? <laughs> And just a massive, massive thank you to the House of Siage for sending these guys over. Um, I'm a huge fan. I'm a huge fan of the brand. I always don't want to sound like a broken record, but that's genuinely how I feel about the brand. And I feel very, very lucky and grateful that I'm, I'm sent such, such beautiful, beautiful fragrances. So again, we've got Box Bunny and we've got Tweety. And that is everything that I have for my haul today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen and I will see you guys later. Bye. Hopefully I'll purchase some more makeup by next weekend. <laughs>